Hey guys, welcome to another video. So this video is about my profile, how I got in. So I was getting some requests and hence I'll just make this video short and get right to the point. So let's get started. So firstly, I'll suggest you watch my um, profile building video, which I'll link here. You can get some idea about what I'll be talking about. So anyways, so first is my CGPA that is academics. I had a CGPA around 9.26. My BTEC was from a third tier university, which was a private university. Um, then my BTEC was in electronics and communication engineering. Uh, where I had an elective of AI. So I basically had some uh, subjects in artificial intelligence. For example, math for AI, um, ANN, uh, pattern recognition, etc. Furthermore, I had some relevant uh, courses about CS2, which are object oriented programming, data structures and algorithms, uh, programming concepts, etc. So basically, these uh, helped me to shift my um, background to CS. So coming to the research work or research experience, I had published two papers um, in, a, in IEEE international conferences and they were technical papers. Basically, I provided solutions to some common problems, which were obviously in the EI domain. Now I started my first paper in the month of July or July end. So if you're thinking it's late, it's too late to start writing a paper, just give that thought up. Uh, it's not like that, you can still write a paper and publish it. So uh, I also had some research experience or research work in my internship. Uh, I'll just come to it later. Coming to the internships, um, I had two internships, total of 10 months. Uh, both internships were at TechPoint Ramika's lab. So it's a research and development uh, department or lab which hire interns. I, do, I had worked on total of um, six projects which were obviously in the AI and ML domain, particularly in um, uh, computer vision and natural language processing. So four projects were related to COVID-19. Um, so I had worked on one research project which I had mentioned in the previous uh, topic, I mean, that is research experience. So the project was titled as uh, Virus Protein Structure Analysis using Natural Language Processing. Um, it was later published in Forbes India. Uh, I will not go into details like what I did and all, but I'm just I'm just mentioning that it was related to my domain and I was a core member of it. So furthermore, I was also a core developer uh, in a project called as AI Crowd Control System in which I developed an algorithm to um, calculate distance between two objects or two persons in an image in real time. So basically, uh, you can get the distance, uh, estimated distance uh, between the two objects in meters. Furthermore, the, that same project had face mask violations too. So basically it was face mask detection and all. And my final year project was also at Tech Mahindra and it was about 3D computer vision, which had, which was the, the title of the project was 3D uh, reconstruction of face image, where you just give your face image as a uh, like, you know selfie or anything, and you can get the 3D object file dot uh, obj file from it, which is reconstructed by 3D computer vision. So the next one is projects. So so these projects are my extracurricular projects. Uh, I just did it as an extracurricular activity. Uh, you can find the information about it on my resume or LinkedIn, which I'll link down below. So the next one is hackathons. So I participated in total of four hackathons. Uh, one hackathon was under Maker's Lab. Um, we, the team, the entire team participated in a hackathon conducted by Pfizer. So that was one. Then um, with my colleagues and friends, I participated in three other hackathons. One was uh, TCS Inframind, which was held in around 2019, around, I think. Um, in that, I developed uh, an automatic grocery billing system. So you just uh, show the packet or the, the item and to, the, to, the, to a camera, 
and it just gives you the amount uh, which you have to pay uh, by detecting um, the, the tag. So next is KPIT Sparkle. We had managed to get our ideas into top 100 ideas nationwide. The next hackathon is Smart India Hackathon. Uh, in that, we developed a elderly care system and I was uh, the lead developer in the AI ML team. So the next is blog. So I also have a blog of my own. It is on uh, medium.com. Uh, it is a technical blog. Uh, I write for towards data science. So basically I have written uh, my findings uh, about the protein structure analysis on the blog. I link it down. I also write about some tutorials, environmental setups, etc. So basically I have just written four or five articles right now. You can just check it out. So the final one is online courses or training and certifications, you name it. Um, I had done many online courses on Coursera. It just helped me to gain some extra knowledge besides learning practically. Um, this also shows the university that you are interested in learning uh, and going to the extra mile. So that's it. So I hope you found this video interesting and helpful and you might be applying now. You might just start applying right now. So I wish you all the best and I hope you get the admit you want. Thank you so much.